Hey guys, Lisa Leslie here and today we're covering 5 bits of DLC I would love in Days Gone. Now we have just hit 10k on the channel and I just want to give a quick thank you to anyone who has ever hit the sub button. We have actually just got a new PC as well so all the videos from now on are going to be in 1080p quality and I'm hoping to just drive that quality up over and over until we have top quality videos on the channel. So anyway, let's get into it with the first pointer on the list and that is weapons, melees and trust. I put trust at the end there because that is how I would like you to earn the new weapons. So first off, let's see more guns. We have space for more guns, so why not? Let's get like quirky guns in there. Maybe something like a flamethrower would be really fun for taking down hordes. Something like that. There's plenty of space for weapons to be added into the locker is what I mean there. Because there's a lot of space in the locker already. So I'd love to see more weapons. And over to melees now. With melees, I'd like to see a lot more variety in there and crafting options as well let's add stuff to the crafting wheel there when it comes to the melees let's make some different types of melees that you can kill people in loads of different types of ways that could be expanded on so much in my opinion so i'd love to see that happen i'd love to see it expanded on a lot in the melee and weapons and the way i'd like you to earn them not the melees but obviously i mean the weapons here is through trust let's put another level on every single camp in the game give us another run all round on every camp another level Maybe put the trust up to 50,000 that you can earn because it's currently at 25 at maximum. You've got to go all around the map again using all different camps, you know, doing missions for everyone, getting that trust up, turning in your ears again, your bounties and things like that at the camp you want to do it first. New bike upgrades has got to come into this as well, obviously, if, if that's the case. So, you know, let's add bike upgrades to that as well. One or two bike upgrades that you can get. It doesn't have to be too much for getting to the next level. It really doesn't. But just one or two in each camp like a gun in each camp kind of thing, and maybe even the same gun in a few camps if they wanted to do that, I don't know. But let's add some weapons in the upcoming DLCs. Now, let's go on to the second one, and we're going to be heading off somewhere a little bit different this time. This is going to be a bit more out there. I have seen this in the comment section quite a lot, actually, and do you know what? I think it's just a brilliant idea. I would love to see this come, and that is a wave mode if you understand what i mean like you get different waves you set up maybe for instance you've got to hold up somewhere they they could pick different areas on the map or they could just make this a whole different air, like mode where you've just got to hold out and survive in like an arena or something like that and just the wave mode you think about how much fun it could be it could start with maybe maybe say there's four doors where freakers can come from okay and it starts with just 10 swarmers coming out of each door you, you're already loaded up you're booted up maybe you've got low level guns or something like that you know, it's kind of like a zombies mode, but I wouldn't want to see it like a zombies mode. I'd like to see it a little bit different where you've got your loadout kind of thing and you just got to take on different levels of freakers every time. So you start with 10 freakers coming from each area and then you could defeat that easily because that would be 40 freakers maybe between three or four of you. Or maybe you're on your own doing the wave mode. It doesn't really matter because this is kind of an online concept, I guess you could say. And then, you know, maybe in the later levels then, obviously you'd, you'd have more freakers then. It'd become like a swarm coming at you. And then, you know, why not let's chuck in three breakers from each door? Let's chuck in some ragers coming in with the with the swarms. You know, it could just get silly good kind of thing. It gets silly fun. And yeah, a wave mode would be absolutely fantastic in the game. The game feels like it's the kind of game that would suit that with the um, horde method in the way that they just run straight at you kind of thing. So that's something I'd like to see added. It could be something that could really add to the long jeopardy of the game. So yeah, that's a mode I would really love to see come to Days Gone. So third on the list here is back to something that we would expect, and that is story mode. Now, I'm not going to say too much about this one because I don't want to drop even the, the smallest of spoilers because in the past I have been accused of dropping the smallest of spoilers and it's not something I like to do at all. I try to avoid it and I can understand what they said before, so I'm not really going to go into anything. All I'll say is I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the ending of the story, like the whole story itself, and I would love to see them add to it and I think they can add to it really well. I think the story can go in really interesting places. So I'm holding my breath for that story mode DLC and I can't wait for it to come. It's on the list because it is something I really want to see. But obviously, it's something I assume we're going to see at some point as well, which is cool. So bring more story mode into it. The sooner the better, I say for that. The sooner the better. So we're moving on into number four and we're going to be going back out there again. Something that currently isn't in the game or isn't even implemented in any way. And that is a camp defense mode. Now, the way I kind of see this is that you'd go into the, you'd load up the map, but there would be no, like, safe camps in there. It would just be a camp defense mode, and you would start, like, building your camp with, like, a certain amount of materials that you had. Maybe, for instance, you start in that first camp on the game where you've just got a tower and four walls, and then you've just got to build it from there, but maybe a bit more flatter ground so that you could actually build and expand in a better way. 
And yeah, you've you've got to do stuff like upgrade your gates, otherwise hordes can get in. You've obviously got to defend it when you are getting attacked. Maybe you get attacked every every night or something, you get attacked or whatever. It could be a way where you've got to build, defend. You know, you can recruit people for your camp. If you see people, you can send them to the camp. You can give them weapons. You can upgrade your weapons. You know, you have to go out and get meat for the camp. So you've got to go out into the wilderness. Dangerous. Just a long mode where you can build up a really good camp and then obviously just show off your camp, how it's so self-sustaining in the end kind of thing. You've got food. You know, you can build stuff like the weapons, merchants in there. You can get mechanics in there. You can get people to collect the bounties in there, things like that. And you can also maybe get people that you know, preserve the meat better so you get more for your meat, you know, you get better weapons with the better merchants, you know, better bike parts for the mechanics and things like that. Just it just all adds to the camp in one way or another. So it's kind of like a camp defense mode, but also a camp build mode is what I'd like to see, where you do actually build your own camp from scratch. You go out recruiting people, you're building up your own community and yeah, you're making your camp stronger and every so often maybe you'd get attacked or something would happen that you couldn't control, like it would be a huge horde, or a rager would get into camp, and then you'd have to fix it and build it and improve it, that kind of stuff. Maybe it would become a bit tedious in the end, but I'm telling you from the point where you've got nothing up until it gets tedious would be a really fun time in my opinion. And the last bit of DLC on the list here is something a little bit simple, but I think it would be a great quality of life change. And that would be stuff like re being able to reset the hordes, reset the ambush camps, reset the infestations, nest infestations. Or if that can't be done, or even something better, would you say, is a expanding and evolving world all the time. For example, if you haven't been to a certain area or a certain region for a while, you may go there and then boom, there's a 10 nest infestation that's grown there because you haven't been there for ages, you haven't checked it, things develop when you're not there and freakers have settled in and made a 10 nest infestation that you've got to take out. It's a hostile environment and it's just something to do and, and I'm talking about straight after the game finishes, once you complete everything, this unlocks where you can actually just have a evolving world where things are always changing so that would be like the nest infestations maybe again if you don't go to the sawmill for ages the sawmill horde is coming back it's bigger than ever or maybe like it just develops somewhere else you just bump into a massive horde every so often because they're always developing once you've defeated the hordes there are no way to go up back and enjoy those hordes again unless you've been saving the game and i think that is something that could do with being added big time into the game Something to do after the game is finished, something to keep it interesting, especially with DLC for like the story mode then, it would also still be a hostile world that you're living in, you'd still have to deal with that hostile world and it would just always be evolving and then they could obviously add stuff a lot easier as well. Another thing I'd like to see them add in this section would be maybe two or three breakers go around together, maybe even up to four or five, so you see a breaker pack or whatever they want to call them together and you're like, whoa. I'm not equipped to deal with that breaker pack right now. Are you thinking, yeah, let's have some fun with these five breakers? I think it's always good when you come up against the random encounters in the game where you do bump into maybe a rager, then get attacked by a breaker, then you see a horde and you're like, wow, it's just all a bit madness. I'd like more moments like that. So if they could do them, that breakers maybe sometimes went round on their own, even most of the time went round on their own, but you could bump into packs and things like that. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave the video. Those are five things for the DLC I would love to see in Days Gone. I'm not going to lie, I could probably go on for another five and then another five and another five after that. I think the game's got a lot of potential if they're willing to put in that effort i think the game has actually done pretty well on sales and things like that so hopefully they will be getting the support to actually add stuff to it maybe a day's gone too a lot of storyline dlc is something i'd really like to see as well as obviously some of the modes and things i've mentioned here and that's going to be the end of the video guys if you liked the video like the video subscribe if you want to see more thanks for watching as always and take it easy